Hey guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back with another video. This time it's a week in my life as an animation student. This is an old vlog from the very first time I started vlogging. I'm no longer in animation school anymore due to the rising cost of living in Miami. I'm in the Atlanta area at the moment, but I wanted to share this vlog since um, I found some of this pretty interesting. Uh, so it's a combination of um, several days. So since it's around the time when I first started vlogging, it's very, very awkward. Um, I've gotten so much better if you watch my other animation vlogs. And this was around the time when I was taking uh, my character design class and my storyboarding class. So a week is a bit of an overstatement since I mostly like take like two classes um, that semester. But I think it would accommodate because it was three separate days. But yeah, this is uh, me eating um, lunch before class. I had some free time. And I was using my other phone to vlog. This is my main phone, the Samsung Z Fold 3. I love this thing a lot and I like multitasking. I was on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter all at once and it, it was nice and my ADHD brain loves it. And yeah, this is how the lounge looks. Um, I let one of my classmates try to draw on my phone. Sadly, I didn't get a lot of footage of that, so I'm so upset. And this vlog isn't in order per se, so one of the assignments that we had for the character design class was creating silhouettes for original character. So this was the character I was working on. You had to do it based on different shapes, so shape language. You had to do one evil one and one heroic one. And those are the characters that was chosen out of the silhouettes. So again, this vlog is film backward. So I'm showing you guys the results of the silhouettes that got chosen because that was our midterm. Um, but yeah, that's the end of that first day since I didn't have a whole lot of footage. And this was shortly after the pandemic. This was 2021. Uh, so it's 2023 now. So it's been a while. It took me forever to edit this, but I still like to share this with you guys, especially since uh, this was something I was looking forward to a long time. So this was the other day. This is my outfit. Um, I prefer doing voiceovers since like talking in public with a camera is like super awkward. And this was me working on the assignments, the silhouettes, and I was having such a hard time. I've never done something like this before, so I had to work the reverse. Like my brain just couldn't like handle it. <laughs> I tried, oh man. And this assignment had to be done in Photoshop. So uh, it was a pain, but our professor really wanted us to learn Photoshop because it's industry standard. Um, this is me trying to just sketch things out and just try to fill it in. But I don't think I was supposed to do that. I think the whole mm, process of learning how to make characters from silhouettes is for you to be loosened with shapes. Um, but I had a hard time with that. So I'm like, oh, you know, I, 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 <laughs> you guys can see the way I filled up the character on the left hand side versus trying me and trying to freehand it. And yeah, I went with a bionic toaster. I also try to use that same character for a story for my storyboarding class. And this was my classmate next to me that was helping me brainstorm some ideas for my toaster, uh, which was super helpful. Um, I'll try to link um, his info down below if I can find it because I know this has been a while. Um, so it was it was nice that's one of the nicer things of being on campus so i do have some snippets of audio that i got from some other classmate that i'll be showing you i'll try to add subtitles since it's kind of hard to hear but i thought some more interesting oh can i see the other pages yeah. oh sure okay yeah. keyframes now and then just like a color pencil sketch okay. Okay. Can you, can you, 
flip through the different pages? Oh, sure. I mean, I have some, um, I have some older ones that I worked on. Because your planning process looks really cool. And what did you get the template? Is that something you found um, online? or? Yeah, I found it online one day. I was just like going through um, some different websites and one of them, Studio Binder, has like a bunch of different um, oh, templates so that you can use. Oh, thank you for pointing out yeah. that. will make it easier in yeah, editing. Yeah, awesome. So they have some really cool and stuff. And then you bring it into Storyboard Pro. Yeah. Eraser and just like I have um, you don't use bags. needed eraser. Um, I used to in college and they just throw me nuts. Wow. Scott, that I really like. Someone, I have this so big. Oh yeah. man, you know I've been stressing my life this whole time. <laughs> and then the Tombow, these are really nice. I just got. Do you carry any colors with you? Um, only right now, only this one for like. Okay, can I see the pencil case? Oh sure, yeah. No, yeah, you're fine. Oh, you can open it. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, and then I just have like a few like Oh, other... you just bring simple stuff. I try to bring the whole world with me when I'm trying oh. to do traditional art. Oh, is this for the second class assignment? Huh? Is this for the second one? And also I get to learn too because like I just haven't had the time and I like I get so frustrated. So it's nice to be learning from different artists. No, it's super neat. That's what I call being here again. To see oh, everyone's like different styles. Like a motivation. Yeah. Motivation. Yeah. Motivation. Yeah. motivation. I'm shy about it. Like, oh, good. I'm really impressed. I love when there's like bloggers around. Yes, that's Oh, I feel like it comes off as suffocating because I'm always recording everything. So depending on how I do it, it might come off too strong. So that's why I've been like trying to hide that. Because it's the same. Like whenever I'm doing like any other, um, whenever I'm doing like. And that was the end of that day and a little bit of context of what we're talking about which was work from our storyboarding class she was doing showing me her storyboard which was really nice this is the next day where i spent a lot of time in the lab it's not the next day since this is in chronological order but that was when i was working on the assignment and uh, this is some more b-roll of the school uh but yeah she inspired me uh to bring a sketchbook to class every day because before it would just be too heavy to bring a sketchbook and all of my supplies that was my outfit for that day so a different look so yeah sea salt sketches i think that's still her username on instagram so she inspired me to get this sketchbook and i started to draw more in class as well as my professor in that um, character design class encouraged me to use sketch my sketchbook to sketch out ideas especially since this assignment was something we were working on throughout the semester um, and we had to have like 20 or so different silhouettes that were like different and conveyed the shape of uh, the language so um, it was really nice since I've been a digital artist for most of my life. I, I drew traditionally a lot in my life, but um, as I became older, I mostly just drew on my tablet. Uh, so it was nice to reconnect with that. And I was super awkward. It was hard for me to come up to my classmates. I've been like looking at their work since I normally sit in the back. It gives me a bird as eye view of everybody's screen and uh, vlogging actually gave me the confidence to go up and talk to people. This is not something I just gain. Um, so that's one thing I'm really thankful about with vlogging was like a conversation starter, even though I was still awkward. This next um, conversation that I recorded of another classmate, I couldn't find her Instagram. Uh, the audio is not the best, but I'm gonna try to explain after. I like that your guard glove is pink, that's nice. Mm, say it again. I like that your guard glove is pink. Oh, uh huh. I wanted it to match. Oh, it's <laughs> nice. I didn't know you can get it in different colors. On Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. You know what you want to do in animation? I definitely want to make a Christian video game. I feel like there's not enough Christianity in anything in life. So I'm like, you know what? Because if you think about it, like in the spirit world, you have to Instagram second tag me. <laughs> no. I actually have an Instagram, but I just, you could still tag me, but I just like never use it, especially after I had a baby. Is it, is it only just for art or is it just like you had, you had a general one? It was like a general one. I have to remake one for art for real. Oh, okay. Maybe you should when you have a channel.
You even made me want to like, looking at your style, makes me want to like try drawing monsters actually. Mm -hmm. Cause like in my, like at least the story that I want to do, it's just kind of be a slice of life and everything's in her dialogue. So mm -hmm. she just has imaginary friends and imaginary <laughs> robots. So I wanted to be just like two humans and then everything else be non-anime mm -hmm. object. Yeah. Cause I saw this anime called Odd Taxi and the, the whole anime is like, uh, it's every, everybody. I'm sorry guys, that conversation was all over the place. Um, I didn't want to be rude and record the whole thing. And um, But yeah, this was between where I was working in the lab with the silhouette and I went over to her desk and I saw what she was working on. You guys saw her silhouette and she gave me a lot of tips and advice and then halfway through our conversation, I was like, oh, you know what? Let me record a snippet of this because I want to do it for my vlog. Uh, but I also didn't want to be super invasive and record everything because I didn't know if she was comfortable with all of that. So I just like, that's all that I, I recorded. And she gave me a lot of tips when it came to the silhouettes, that's where I started to just do a sketch and start to fill it in. But she filled it in with a brush instead of the bucket tool. I should have not used the bucket tool. But yeah, talking to my classmates um, helps me out a lot, especially since I go to like a community college where it's a little bit more diverse than regular art schools. So you have people from different walks of life. Um, it was really interesting hearing some of her experience being a mom and trying to go back to school to do art. I think I think she's in the video game track for this program that the animation even though we do share some of the same core classes uh yeah and the story that i was telling her because like uh for my storyboard class i have to create a short story for my in animation so i was trying to use the characters that i was using in my character design class for that like i mentioned before and the story i had was about uh, an evil robot and a very awkward girl that just has imaginary friends and i didn't go too much with that i really want to revisit that one day but that's the end of this vlog here's some view of the city in miami if you guys enjoy this check out these other vlogs i've done and i'll catch you guys next time bye